everybody, it's Andrew with Line Screw One YouTube channel, and you're watching the Vince and Deanna vlogs from the Vince Roca YouTube channel because life obviously doesn't suck. I'm up one and a half pounds. That's from Friday alone. It's because of this. Yes, on Saturday alone, I gained a one and a half pounds because I ate five slices. Deanna had three. No bueno. You might have noticed the new awesome cold open to the vlogs. Uh, that was actually inspired by Travels with Yoli, who in a comment had mentioned that he's been on YouTube for a long time and no YouTuber has ever mentioned him. And I was like, why not share the love? And fun for Lewis, Lewis Cole does those types of openings where uh, subscribers send him uh, intros and he uses them in his vlog. So I figured why not steal that directly from him and, you know, share some love with you guys. Uh, so record an opening. If you want to promote your YouTube channel, go right ahead. If you have a plumbing business in Idaho and you're like, this is Jake from Jake's Plumbing on Route 72 and you're watching Vince and Deanna's vlogs because life doesn't suck. That's great too. Uh, make a video and upload it to your YouTube channel as unlisted. Then go over to Facebook, click on that message button, and message me the link. And I'll pull down the video and I'll include it in the vlog. Make a bunch of them. If you have nothing to advertise and you just want to be like, I'm Bob Newhart. I don't know why I picked that name. I'm Bob Newhart and you're watching Vince and Deanna's vlogs because life doesn't suck. That's great too. Um, you might notice that I am back to shooting on the GoPro Hero 5. Why? Well, it was giving me some problems and GoPro suggested I do a complete reinstall of the firmware. So I did and now I'm back to testing it out to make sure that this thing works before I go to Italy. So the sound's probably going to suck for this video. Um, so what do we do over the past couple of days? Well, we went to the mall. Well, can we get our eyes checked? New glasses. Yep. Yeah, she's gonna get contacts, I think. I'm gonna get glasses, too. Ooh, she's getting bold. Chin down, head against the top. I hate this part. That's what she said. <laughs> right eye looking straight at the light. Hold on. It's the anticipation that kills me. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Three, two. Three, three. Okay. I love these so far my favorite. They're the most expensive ones. Well that's what I picked out as the most expensive. These are 160. Okay. These are my favorite. I really like these. I used to do this thing here, but I'm thinking of more of like a point dextery frame. Hello. Better one, better two. Better one, better two. I think these are the winner for me. Right. I like these. These are nice. So this is, these are those Ray-Ban sunglasses without lenses on them. So if I had gotten the same frame, just got to get the lenses. It looks way different though. Of course it does. I really like them with the sunglass lenses. But I like the durability. Yeah. They're pretty durable. They don't have the little pads here. Yeah, I really don't like the pads. And I can wear these like, like this as well. I like it. All right. I think I'm going to get these. Right now we are at the Triple A Automobile Club of Southern California, and why are we here? To get our international driver's licenses. So we're good to go for Italy. Yeah. Getting our passport photos for our international license. I know you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is an international driver's license? We discovered them in Spain. Uh, it really is just a translation of your license class. Whatever type of vehicle you're allowed to drive, they translate it into different languages so the cops know if they pull you over. In Spain, they told us if we got pulled over, we didn't have an international license, the cops could impound our car and leave us on the side of the road. We don't want to chance that in Italy because we got a rental car for 21 days, so we decided to spend the $35 each and get international driver's licenses. Right now, I'm on my way to the storage unit to pick something up. Um, what else do we do? Oh, 
we tried out some snorkeling gear. You're probably thinking, wow, there's a lot of particles floating around in that water. And you're right. One is, is Pismo's hair falls off and goes everywhere. The other is, I think the automatic pool cleaner is getting stuck and not making its way around, so I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, this is why I came. I actually built this thing. This is an old Zaxxon arcade cabinet that I converted into being a Nintendo 8-bit system. But uh, I need some cartridges for my Super Nintendo, so I'm here to see if they're inside of here. And there they are. See what a nice job I did inside of here? I think we'll cover in the next vlog why I got these. But for now, Deanna unpacked a bunch of clothes. Woo! That's so cool! Ah! Vince just showed me that you can use your iPhone to start recording on the GoPro. As you all know, we are planning, or some of you know, whatever. Hi! Uh, we're planning a trip to Italy this summer. Uh, we're going to spend five weeks, and I've been kind of obsessing over what I'm going to bring, what I'm going to wear, because they are very fashion conscious over there, and in cer cer certain areas they're also a little more conservative, but it's going to be summertime, really hot while we're there, so i got to be able to dress summery. Anyway, but I want to stay fashionable, and I purchased some clothes from Venus.com, and they are... I'm kind of obsessed with Venus. I always, they're my number one online shop to go to. Um, there's a few others, but, um, and this is in no way sponsored at all, but um, I just wanted to share with you, I love Venus. Anyway, so I bought some stuff that I'm hoping to be able to take with me to Italy, and I'll be honest with you, this is my third attempt at this unpacking video. Um, I got almost all the way through it and then there's a problem with the SD card and none of it recorded. So, that is why some of this is already open. Hmm. Okay, so, let's get to it. Yee, I'm so excited. Okay, so Venus always sends you a new catalog, of course. First item that we got is this awesome, cute, little maxi skirt. Ah! Next, we got a cute little cami top. It's cute, it's very basic. They're really great for layering, and if you watched my how to, what I packed for uh, Europe, um, I stressed the importance of layering, and um, so camis, great for layering. Now this one is a keeper. I think it is so super cute. I love it. It's got this nice little, I mean this is a little plasticky feeling, but it's um, it's faux leather and it's the little belt and it's really, it's really cute. I actually really like it. It's got a nice slit up the side, super, super soft. It is way soft, really breathable, really comfortable. And, um, yes, I can't wait. This is a keeper. What do we have here? <gasps> I can't wait to try this on. I'm so excited. This is a black maxi dress that I bought. And just look out the, the back detailing. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it. It's, um, put my arm through and see if you can tell. Anyway, it's very strappy. This dress has sophistication written all over it. Oh my goodness. The fabric, again, is amazing. It is so soft and breathable. And, okay, now you need to check out the back. Oh, is that just not the cutest back? I love it. It is just awesome. Next. Oh 
Oh, this little sundress is going to be super cute, and I can't wait to put it on. I can't wait. Oh. I was hoping that this dress would be super cute, and it is! Look how cute it is! Ah, I love it. I love it. It is so, again, it's really soft, it's breathable, and it's unbelievably cute. I love it. I cannot wait to be walking through the streets of Italy in this dress. It's going to be perfect. Ah! And last but not least are these way cute little shorts. They're fun little, you know, fancy shorts. I don't have any fancy shorts. All my shorts are very casual, very khaki, or they're jean shorts like these. Um, I don't have any fancy or nicer shorts. So I wanted to get a nicer pair. These shorts, I'm kind of mad at. They're, um, they're not as cute on. I thought they had pockets, and they don't. And the back is doing this really funny, weird thing right there. And they make my ass look flat. They're just not, they're not, they're not very attractive on. So, and this tie, I don't quite know how to tie it right. But, so, I'm kind of mad at the shorts. I don't really like the shorts. The shorts are... They're going bye-bye. I love this dress. I can't even tell you. I can't even say how much I just, I love it. It is just, it's amazing. Mm. Awesome. I am so happy. So this was, I didn't get very much. I only got a few pieces in this haul. And um, there's uh, one piece that has got to go back. The shorts were just... Not, uh, not, not living up to everything else, but the dresses, everything else I am in love with and I think are awesome and I am super excited. I cannot wait to hit the streets of Italy, you know, with these new digs and uh, maybe I'll do a video if you want to see some of the other pieces that I'm going to bring with me to Italy. Um, yeah, but I love this. So I guess that's the question of the day. Should Deanna do more of these unboxing clothing haul videos? Also, as I'm walking the dogs and I'm reflecting upon life, I can't help but think pumpernickel. That's a funny word, isn't it? Pump her nickel. Pumpernickel. Dog walk. 1.23 miles at a 2427 pace which is not bad. It's a shorter walk today because it's a beautiful 94 degrees outside and the little one tends to get tired. Time to try that pull up. All right, until next time, see you later. Alligator.